Hi, this is David with Patterns in the Cloud, creators of WC AutoShip, the complete AutoShip solution for WooCommerce. Today I'm going to walk you through a PayPal Express checkout integration with WC AutoShip. That is a custom gateway integration and I will demonstrate kind of what's different about it than your standard PayPal checkout and what's a little bit different about it than say uh, subscriptions. Okay, so this demo that we've got set up is on a very uh, plain WooCommerce theme. Yours might look a little bit different depending on your theme, but um, this is going to work across many WooCommerce themes. So for demonstration purposes, let's start off with a variable product. Um, WC AutoShip does allow you to add both simple and variable products to AutoShip, as well as other products to the cart not on AutoShip. And we'll demonstrate that feature during this checkout. All right, so I'm going to add these... Uh, custom options for AutoShip. Uh, this label, I'm going to make this for Benny, you know, specify who I want this for as my custom option, and I'm going to put this on a monthly AutoShip and add that to the cart. Okay, so that was a variable product. So for demonstration purposes, let's add a simple product um, to AutoShip, also for Benny. Let's add that to the cart as well. Great. And also, for demonstration purposes, let's add another product to the cart, but not put it on auto ship. So you can see how that works. So say I start to put it to one, and I can opt out of that by saying no auto ship. So we're adding a one-time purchase also to the shopping cart to the same checkout. Okay, let's check out our cart really quick. So as you can see, we've got the items and the item options that we've set up. Um, I'm going to leave the shipping and handling to two-day shipping. Um, the auto ship functionality is to actually use all of these settings when memorizing future orders. So whatever your customer chooses when they check out, by default, that's what their auto ship's going to be for their next order. So I'm going to proceed to the checkout. And yours might look a little bit different depending on your WooCommerce theme. Um, so I'm going to scroll down here. We've got our order summary. You can see all the same data that we had in the cart got our shipping and handling, got our taxes calculated. And because right now I only have the PayPal Express checkout um, enabled, that does come by default with WC AutoShip, so it is included for free. Um, so if you wanted to use this as your only payment gateway, uh, that would be possible. And you could just have checkout with PayPal available at the bottom. So when I click checkout with PayPal, what the Express checkout is going to do is take me over to my store's PayPal landing page basically. Um, so you can see I've got my test store set up right now. I've got this link to my Sandbox PayPal account. Now, this is not a live demo. We highly suggest you do that before going live. And you can kind of see I've got my item showing here and I've got my item total with shipping and handling including tax. Okay, And I'm going to check out using my test account. Hopefully got that right. I'm going to log in to my PayPal account to check out like any customer would. First it's going to log me in. Now it's going to show me my existing PayPal information. So I've got my shipping address here. You can change that at this point along with your payment method which you could also change at this point. Um, content information. And here's what makes AutoShip a little bit unique. It uses a PayPal feature called billing agreements. And billing agreement basically discloses this to your customer that they are agreeing during this payment to allow your store to bill future payments to the same PayPal account automatically, right? By default, this is going to be a default payment method for these future auto ship orders. So they're actually agreeing to it at this time. They won't have to do this again if they just let future auto ships run. And we'll show you that experience here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and agree and pay. Okay. PayPal is going to load this and when it's complete just like any other WooCommerce order it's going to complete and bring me back to that checkout confirmation page back on my WooCommerce store and close some of these password indicators okay so it says thank you orders been received very typical uh, confirmation page for any WooCommerce theme um, and at the end because we have AutoShip enabled it also has this link to go and review your AutoShip schedules so you could click that it would take you to the same place as clicking on my account would. So I'm just going to click on my account in this case. Okay. So you can see those just those items that I had selected to put on AutoShip 
are now available for me to manage. And because I placed this order 28 days, di it, 28 days before March 4th, that's going to be my next shipment date. And that's what is uh, prompting me to read in that summary up above. I didn't put any items on a 56-day auto ship, so even though that schedule is available, it's empty. Nothing's going to happen on April 1st for that shipment. Um, as you can see, that delivery method that I ch uh, picked at checkout still there. Those subtotals are the same. If I needed to, I could add another item at this point. Um, all of my items from my WooCommerce catalog are already available here. So if I wanted to say add some chia seeds, you know, and I also wanted to label those for Benny, those same options are available for me. You know, add it to that auto ship. Um, I could pause that auto ship if I wanted to. Um, Re-enable it by unpausing it. All those same auto ship features that you're used to seeing, they're all there and work really well. So right now, if I only have the uh, PayPal Express gateway set up as a payment gateway with WC AutoShip, you know, that's going to be all that's available to me. So I could actually change that PayPal account if I wanted by clicking save. It would take me to that same landing page. I'll just demonstrate that for you really quickly. It's going to take me to that same landing page. So if I needed to switch PayPal accounts, for example, I could actually do that. Uh, the difference is, is since I'm not buying an order at that time, I'm just changing the PayPal account, it's not going to show me the same like line items that it would have before because that was an actual checkout where I agreed. This one is simply going to ask me to log into a different PayPal account or I could cancel and go right back to that same My Account page having not changed anything and all that information is going to stay the same. So for demonstration purposes, um, let me show you what this is like when you have other payment gateways enabled in your WooCommerce auto ship settings. So to enable another gateway, I could simply log into the back end, the WordPress admin area for my WooCommerce store. Right? I'd go to WooCommerce, Settings, and a checkout. If I went there, I would see what other gateways I have installed. So in this case, I've got everything installed that's currently available for WC AutoShip. So let's say I also want to enable my authorize.net so I can take credit cards too. Um, I would actually go to that tab, WC AutoShip Authorize.net Payments, you know, assuming you've purchased and downloaded and installed that plugin already, and I would enable Authorize.net Payments at that time. Go and save those changes. Come back to my uh, WooCommerce settings. And let's say I wanted to um, make the credit card sort of the default option at checkout or I wanted to leave it as PayPal default that would change that checkout process a little bit so that you'd actually see one first versus another however when I enable that you know for an existing customer say they've already uh, used PayPal um, to set up their auto ship and say they want to go in there and change to a credit card Okay, what that's going to look like once that's enabled is when I hit change billing, let me refresh my screen just to make sure I've got those settings updated. When I hit change billing, now I can actually switch to a credit card. So say with authorize.net. So I'm going to put my uh, credit card number in here and that's basically just going to be a um, test credit card number. These aren't actual credit card numbers for you to use. I'm going to set this to you know, a future expiration year. And again, this is a test card, so you can use sort of these dummy credentials. Hit save. And now you can see I've actually updated my payment info to the authorized.net credit card. Say so I needed to change that back. No problem. Switch options. Save changes. And it'll kick me right to that uh, PayPal Express checkout page again so that I can log into my PayPal account that I want to use and use that for future auto ships instead of that authorized.net um, credit card integration. So same as before. Log in. And just like you saw before, I'm going to agree and pay only difference this time is I'm not paying anything and that's pretty clear here by the order summary so I go ahead and agree it's gonna update that billing agreement very very important again that billing agreements be enabled on your PayPal account before you try to use this PayPal Express integration with AutoShip it really does drive everything with billing a PayPal account 
All right, and at that point, now you can see my uh, payment info is updated to that PayPal account. That's pretty much it. So that concludes this demo of the uh, customer uh, experience walkthrough. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at support at patternsinthecloud.com or even easier, head on over to wooautoship.com, click on the support tab, fill out a contact form, check out our uh, support forms as well. We do provide uh, very great support for making sure that your auto ship integration is working flawlessly and that those orders keep turning over. All right, happy auto shipping.